Hi Divas! These crystals are pretty. They have a, a rainbow type of effect within them. There's a rainbow shine when you're up close to them. Maybe you can't see that on camera, but I can see that as I'm working with them.
noticed a visual problem every time I'm working on these ones that are on an, an acrylic plate they glue the picture to the back fine but there's a certain thickness can you see how thick it's not very thick but the, the plastic the lucite or whatever you want to call it has a thickness to it the numbers are on the back the um, symbols are on are pasted on like they're printed on the sticker okay the sticker goes on the back and then you have the thickness of that you have the glue on top so you're gluing the thing on top of the lucite and then there's the gap before the actual uh, symbol that you see so no matter where you look at it if you look at it in a certain way you're always going to see you're always going to see the back so I think I, I'm going to stand it up and see what I see when they're standing up because if I'm going to be looking at it in the end I'm going to be looking at it from this angle I don't want to see the symbol now it's going to look funny when it's straight on but you won't at least you won't see the symbol see, I'm, I'm put I'm just pushing it up a little bit because I'm looking at it from that angle I'm pushing the I can't see it on camera I can't do it at the same time I'm showing you real well just pushing them up a little bit it doesn't quite look like it covers from this angle that I'm looking at it but when I'm standing it up I don't see it as much it's an, it's an illusion, it's an optical illusion which is going to be hard to get around I don't care what kind of kit you get unless they put the symbols on the top the glue on top of it on the top of the loose site you are going to when you stand it up be able to see the symbols and that's just the nature of this type of thing um, that's why I didn't get many kits like this because uh, no matter what you do you're going to be able to see the symbols at a different angle so I just wanted you to be aware of that you don't have that on a canvas or on um, when they print stuff on cardboard because the lucite the clear lucite you don't have you don't have the gap in between. <laughs> so that's an interesting phenomenon of these lucite things. You're always going to see some of the symbol no matter what you do. You just have to keep playing with them until you think you're finished. And that's that.
angel is finished with the tree. So I'm going to put her aside. I have the two little babies to go. And I'm going to put a pause on this. I haven't eaten all day yet, so I'm going to go eat something and I'm going to go work on my laundry. Then I'll be right back. Okay? Thanks, Divas. Okay, we're back. And I'm going to do the bigger of the two little angels. And then I'll do the little one of the two little angels. So I'm going to keep this kind of close underneath me because I'm noticing that there's a glare. Particularly bad glare coming off of these shiny drills. And uh, I don't want that to be in your way as you're viewing this. I hope you can see. Again, I'm using the, the wax stick instead of a drill pen. I believe that they don't scratch the surface of the rhinestones quite as much. So, yeah. I think it's going to be pretty when I'm done. When we're done, I'll also show you, I'll show you making the bottoms of them and, you know, putting it all together and then putting something on the bottom that will make it more solid. Um, hopefully, uh, it won't break then. Because I don't, I don't want to make this, but I'll let the trouble into making this and have it break like the other one did. Okay, and I'm going to align those as best I can at the moment. All right. There's always one person who makes me laugh every shift. Sometimes they make me laugh on purpose, and they're just that kind of a person. They're just fun-loving and interesting people. Some are tough. Some are like uh, a woman who thought her husband was going through going through a stroke. Another, another one who unbelievably a um, teenager was going through was going into shock after eating a nut and the mother wanted to know if she should give this one the EpiPen or take them to the hospital and it's like D why don't you know you do both um, I, it just you know why are you waiting for a doctor on call to give you a call back get over there now you know I don't understand, but I guess when you're in situations like that, you just don't think straight. You're panicking and you don't think straight. So there's that. And then there's those who whose dog swallowed some tampons <laughs> or um, the other dog's medicine or you know, ate something funny, or the, the child who stuck a pen, stuck a, what did they, he stuck um, something up his nose, <laughs> you know, and it reminded me of my son who, every once in a while, we'd get something stuck up there, and we'd have to take him to the doctor to get it extracted. Um, so there's always something like that that makes it a funny shift, too. I look forward to those funny ones. Um, you just don't, you don't realize how many uh, places, especially like single owned businesses that don't have the money for a receptionist, 
uh, especially one that will be available on the phone 24-7. They don't have the financial wherewithal to be able to afford their own secretary or whatever, that they, they have a answering service do it for them. Maybe they don't want to be bothered with that part of the business. Maybe they just want to go out and do. They're, you know, they're hard workers. They just want to go out and do what they do and not have to be bothered by answering the phones. So that's what we do. Um, so that's that. We also do some emergency stuff and some charity stuff too, which is interesting. They're always interesting. <laughs> One called up that same phone number but kept changing their name that was calling up a um, volunteer cherry type thing and the reason why this person kept changing their name is because they had a warrant out for their arrest so they didn't want to go to the police or anything to get their you know find out where to get their needs met but they call a volunteer organization and try to get housing that way, temporary housing that way. It, you know, there's always interesting people. Okay, here's the little angel. She's done. Now I go to the tiny one. These are the first drills that this tiny one has had on her at all. This is the last piece. <laughs> if I can get the plastic off my finger long enough to... Ouch. If you're looking for a place to work that where you can do some good and care for people, the industry right now that's growing the biggest is is uh, in-home caregiving. It's exploded since COVID. People don't want to go to the hospital. <laughs> the elderly don't want to leave the house because they don't want to get it, of course. They're vulnerable. And uh, some of them need in-home care rather than if at a facility. And if you really like helping people who are by and large grateful for what you do for them, little chores, meals, taking temperature, you know, making sure their meds are in on time, cleaning, um, light cleaning, that kind of thing. Helping with a different relative who has some kind of disability or something. Um, some of them have good insurance plans or good you know, had good income when they were alive that, when they were alive, listen to me. Some of them had good income before retirement to the point where they can afford to have a companion. Like after their spouse is gone. That kind of thing. and they still need care and companionship and they don't want to go into a home. If you have a heart to do that, I mean, you can read to them, they can, you know, get their mail, you can do computer work for them, you can, you know, whatever they need. You might have to take a course or two, you might have to pass a, um, 
like a, a criminal test, that kind of background test, that kind of thing. Depends what the company that you start with goes. So I don't know. That seems to be a huge growth area right now, and as more of us baby boomers are coming to or toward retirement, it's going to get even more popular as the years keep going. Okay, now I'm going to put those away so they're out of your view. Don't have to put up with that. Put the tweezers away. I'm going to widen out of here out a bit because I'm going to get the cardboard out. You can use poster board, you can use whatever for the bottoms. But what I did, you know, let's economize here. And what I did for the other ones is the insides of these boxes are white. All I did was cut the bottom of the box off. doesn't have to be perfect because it's still bigger than what I'm trying to glue onto it. So if I don't get the edges perfect, no big deal. Okay. <clears throat> right. Now this for trash. Okay, so that's what I did. And I guess I could even pull you back even further yet, can I? To make sure. So let's do, let's put these little guys on here. It looks like the biggest holes are in the back and the biggest one is going to be the church itself. And this looks like a path that's going up to the church. So I'm going to see, yep, that fits right in there. And I bet what fits on that side? This is the really big angel. You see how I'm doing that? I find the slot that it fits in first. And push it down. It's a bit jiggly. You think that's that angel really overpowers the center. The angel's not behind the church, is it? That doesn't make sense. Is it? No. Because that's the biggest one and that does go in the middle. Oh, come on. All right. Next biggest one goes in the front, I'm sure. That's not wide enough. That tiny one goes in the back? No, it does not. How can the tiny one be seen? That little tree. That doesn't make sense. Does it? That doesn't make sense. <sighs> All right. This one definitely goes in there. This one definitely goes in there. smallest one in the smallest hole. <laughs> okay, well, I wouldn't have placed them this way. The little tiny tree is way back here. You can barely see it. Big angel, biggest angels in the middle. The church is in the background, although it could have been bigger than this angel. Then you have the one angel, and she's holding something like a bird and some holly in her hand. And this other one looks like she's reaching towards something, and there's nothing to reach toward, but she's kind of like dancing or hanging there. 
okay? So what I'm going to do with the box bottom is I'm going to put this down, draw around it. Whoops. Oh, good. I dropped my trash. Great. Love that. Fine. Okay, I'm going to draw around it. Hmm, this is perfect side to side, so I don't have to cut off too much. All right, I'm just going to draw around it with a pen. Holding it down so it doesn't slip. Okay. Cut it out. And I'm going to try to cut the pen mark off of it too because I want to not see any of the cardboard underneath it. If I cut right beyond the, the pen mark, on the other side of the pen mark, the outside of it, you'll be able to see just a tiny little bit of the cardboard around the edges and I don't want that. So if I go just inside the line it'll be just small enough. These are nice round corners. If I can still see any of the pen, I am going to trim it off. that with the other two as well. Now the Victorian house, does that go side to side? No, it doesn't. Sort of. This one does not have rounded corners. Oh, it's near perfect side to side just the way it is. So, it's in the front, it's in the back, inside the lines. The other thing I was thinking of, since this one, the snowy one has a blue, bluish bottom, this one has a green bottom, uh, the other one that I'll show you has a blue bottom, you could also use cardstock underneath it that matches, or poster board or whatever, that matches the color that's underneath that. So that one goes to that. This one has a yucky side on it, so I don't I want to avoid that. And this is a bit longer. Sort of sort of sort of kind of sort of all right, this one has rounded corners on it too. I'm gonna start with the broken one because if I mess that one up, then that's less of a problem.
All right. So what I'm going to do just want to line it up again to see that it's not going to be sticking out anywhere. And I could use a little bit smaller on the one side here. Okay. Just a skosh. Not quite so wide. I just don't want any sticking out over the edge. All right, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to glue this one to the edge here, glue it down, and then I'm going to glue this in and hold it for a few seconds. All right, and then I'm going to try to pop these guys in. This one also, I noticed, has a broken piece there, so I don't even know. If that angel's going to stand up, it will. It will if I glue it. And this one goes over here, right? Yep. Oops. <laughs> See, that's what's going to happen if I don't glue it in. All right. So. little bit here. I'm going to use the E6000 glue because I want to I want it to adhere quickly. I want it to adhere quickly and I want it to do it solid. So what I'm going to do is run it along the inside of this cardboard here, along the back edge. Come on. <laughs> it stinks. Okay. And then on this edge, I'm going to glue this guy down. And I'm going to make sure that it covers this edge of things here. Yes, I know it's blooping there, blobbing. Okay. I'm just going to sit this down and hold it there. Obviously, this wants to keep going, so I'm going to glue the edge here. to keep gooping, I guess. <coughs> Turn this over. And again, I'm going to glue the little angel down here. I'm going to glue around the inside edge where it meets the other one. Not just on the bottom, but I'm going to go I'm going to glue the edges here too. Where going to glue together. That's important. Put the lid back on, so I use it for the second time. Stick that in here. Put it on here and hold it tight for a moment. Hold it tight to each other. Now I imagine you could use super glue or something else that would adhere the plastic just as nicely. <coughs> Make sure it's not glued to my table. I have a tendency to do those things. All right, now what I'm gonna do is put some in the creases where the angels go in the middle. Because it looks like they're going to need some extra 
sticking power here. Put the lid on. Make sure again that they're stuck together. I don't want to stick the hair to it yet. <laughs> going in the middle here. I like that pop. That pop tells me it's in tight. Good. Now I'm going to set that in here and hold it there. Pinch it on the edge here. I don't. I'm not uh, holding out 100% hope for these things because you know, maybe I should hot glue them instead. I can still hot glue them in place. Sitting here and holding them probably is not doing me any good. Okay. Okay, I'll move this off. I see around the front edge that I need to cut off some of the cardboard. I will do that another time. Um. Yikes! Angels are falling, as I thought they might. They're, the angels are just going to need to be hot glued in, I believe, because they're not going to stick this way straight up. Stay. All right, let's do the Victorian house. Now, thing, everything is stuck in nicely in here. I'm going to double check to see if... to make sure the cardboard is not going to stick out. Oh, I need to trim some off of this side. Especially at that end. It just flares right out there. Okay. So, again, on the underside... I'm going to glue these in place. Now, if you decide that you want to be able to take them apart and put them back together again, that's fine. You don't need to do this glue step. I do. <laughs> I do want to do the glue step because I want them to stay in. What I'm going to do to pack them away for the year is going to be to just put tissue paper in between them, in between the edges, so that, you know, they don't pack, they don't break when they're packed away. But this is one way to do the stands. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm going to carefully place it down here on the cardboard. I do not get any out on my tablecloth. Hey, hey, hey. I think we got this. I'm going to make sure these little Things are seated tightly, and I'll move him off to the side. Yeah, I like that. Okay, one more to go, and we have our angels here. Okay, dry fit it. Move over a bit there, bud. 
Yep. Okay, I don't see it anywhere along those lines. Come on, come off of there. <laughs> These do not want to stay down. To stay in their lane here. That might make it a little difficult to turn over. That's just the church. So, last time, just to get in there. Get there. That's in solid. These are in solid except for the church one. This one even sticks out around the bottom. They're not going to be flat, on, not always flat on the bottom. They don't seem to be flush. Yeah. And maybe that was my problem with the other one. <laughs> yeah. There we go. If the front of the box had any details on any details on where it would have liked to have gone. Oh, well, that's the church in the back. I got them set in right. <clears throat> By the picture, I know I have them set in correctly in the right places. You just don't want to stay there. So, other than maybe trimming a tiny little bit of the uh, paper off the edges, if it sticks out a smidge, I have three, three finished tableaus. This one will be fun for Valentine's Day because the tree has like little hearts in it. <laughs> And two at Christmas time. These two at Christmas time. This one at Valentine's Day. Isn't that fun? Three tableaus. Yep. Stay on there, guy. <coughs> okay. <laughs> the glue is getting to me. So there we go. All right. So have fun with your extra projects. I hope you like these. Uh, I hope you like the tips that I gave you in the middle of it and and let me know you know what I don't know what's the craziest thing that you had happen to you while you were on the phone don't forget to sign up for the monthly giveaways you can do that by following the instructions down in the description box to sign up for the giveaways it's all there and I will put um, the links to where I, where you can find some of these yourself. It may not be the exact same ones, but I will put some links in the description box of where you can find some of these little three-dimensional tableaus yourself in all different styles. Okay, Just be careful when you pop things in that you don't break the base like I did. Alright. Thanks for stopping by, Divas. Thanks for sharing this time with me. Later, Gators. Bye.